Nobody likes Hypno and JC on Rios. I genuinely don't think there's a man more maligned in this tier than Hypno. Except for maybe Pilus Wine. Hypno is a mega game defining force in GC on Rioast. It is the tier's premier defensive Pokemon, and it defines how offensive play in the tier is carried out. Psychic is a dominant typing in GC UU, and Hypno was largely agreed to be the best Psychic type, despite its lower special attack, because of how consistent and splashable it is. Hypno's typing is fantastic for the GC on Rioast metagame because it resists Psychic and has no relevant weaknesses on the special side. JCU has no viable Dark types, and the only Dark types moves that get used are weak ones like Thief, before you ask that question. When you combine no weaknesses with beefy special defense, you get the premier special wall in GC underused. Special attackers like Mr. Mime, Haunter, Electabuzz and Lantern are common and dangerous threats in GC underused, and Hypnot is one of the very few reliable answers to all of them. Hypno is also effective against mixed attackers like Nidoqueen and Gyarados. While its physical defense is not amazing, it's not bad either, and its one physical weakness is to bug, a rare attacking type. Most physical attackers can't 2 KO Hypno without boosting, so it can use Reflect to have an easier time against them. Hypno is a staple on offensive teams, because without it, these teams are seriously weak to special attackers like Mr. Mime and Lantern. Offensively, Hypno isn't amazing, but it threatens common poison types like Nidoqueen, Haunter and Quillfish with a 2 KO from Psychic. With spikes up, it can deal decent damage to Pokemon like Granbull and Piloswine on the Switch, so they must be careful of switching in willy-nilly. Hypno is a fantastic user of Rest Talk, as it gains incredible longevity and setups absorption from this. Rest Talk Hypno is incredibly resilient due to its high special defense and lack of weaknesses, as well as its decent offensive presence. As a result, Hypno is the premier special tank in GCUU because it has the best overall matchup against the metagame. While Chansey is even bulkier than Hypno especially, and has one turn recovery, it is far worse at dealing damage and even worse at taking physical attacks. Hypno has a big effect on the moveset choices in the metagame. Special attackers like Mr. Mime and Electabuzz use Thief to ruin the inevitable Hypno switch in, and Pokemon like Granbull use Rest, rest Talk largely to handle Rest Talk Hypno long term. Mr. Mime is the poster boy of Pokemon that were niche sets to handle Hypno really, using weird moves like Nightmare on some sets to break through Rest Talk Hypno. Hypno is an incredible support Pokemon too, since it learns all of Tunnel Rave, Reflect and Raw Light Screen. Hypno is able to support Pokemon like Scyther and Granbull extremely well with Light Screen and Thunder Wave, because of how many free turns it has. It can switch into something like Mr. Mime and Lantern, and then set up a screen or paralyze an incoming foe if it isn't a ground type. Light Screen plus Scyther is an incredibly dangerous strategy, and Hypno is usually the one setting up that screen. Hypno can run either a full supporting set with Thunder Wave, Light Screen, and Rest, or it can use Thunder Wave or Reflect on its Rest Talk set. The first set is usually seen on semi salt teams with Heal Bell, because Hypno is a sitting duck when it's resting. Rest Talk Hypno with a supporting move is the most common Hypno variant on offensive teams, checking special attackers and then supporting its team. Reflect isn't just support for Hypno's teammates, too, because Hypno makes great use of it itself. Reflect vastly improves Hypno's matchup against Pokemon like Granbull, Piloswine, and Pinsir. Reflect makes Hypno incredibly tough to break through, and oftentimes, the best move against it is to just try PP Sala. Meanwhile, T-Wave ruins Pokemon that are annoying for offense teams, like Gyarados and Jumpluff. It also provides excellent support for slower Pokemon, like Granbull. Thunder Wave and Reflect mean Hypno doesn't let in Pokemon like Scyther and Pinsir freely, so they are the best options on offensive teams. Hypno can also use Seismic Toss on its Rest Talk sets, which just acts as consistent damage against Pokemon like Mr. Mime, Gyarados, and Electabuzz. It is particularly helpful against these Pokemon when Hypno is sleep talking, because it has the highest odds of picking a damaging move. Light Screen is also possible on Rest Talk Hypno, but it's largely a bad idea. This Hypno set lets in Scyther and Pinsir pretty freely, and it makes Hypno much worse off against Pokemon like Nidoqueen and Gyarados. Letting in Scyther is really bad for offensive teams, so don't use this Hypno set. Just don't use it please. The final set that Hypno commonly uses is a curse set of all things. This set takes advantage of Hypno's high special defense to boost up a curse and attempt to sweep the opposing team. With curse, 
Body Slam and Rest Talk. Hypno was able to set up all over Pokemon like Mr. Mime, Blastoise and Slowbro and eventually overpower them. Body Slam is the attacking move of choice due to the paralysis chance. This means Pokemon like Encore, Jumpluff and Gyarados aren't good answers to this Hypno set because they risk being crippled by Body Slam paralysis. This Hypno set does have pretty limited counterplay so it can pose a sweeping threat when its few checks are gone late game. Cursed Hypno can be used on standard offensive teams, but it's most common on full stall teams as their win con. Stall teams pair Cursed Hypno with both Pursuit and Rapid Spin support, giving it a much easier time sweeping. Since Hunter Waltz is standard Cursed Hypno, Pursuit Electabuzz makes a great partner. Occasionally, Cursed Hypno even drops Sleep Talk and uses Psychic, letting it 2 KO Hunter and damage Omastar pretty well. Curse plus Psychic does mandate heal bell support, though, so it isn't as common. The main issue with Curse Hypno in general is how passive it is. The thing takes like 4 boosts to actually start damaging stuff. This also means it loses the Curse Wars against Pokemon like Granbull, who are sh far stronger than it. I don't have much to say about Hypno's history in GC or Neos, because it's been top tier since the earlier days of the metagame. Day after day, month after month, year after year even, it would show up, check special attackers and support its team. The main thing to talk about with Hypno is how its moveset has evolved. For most of the tier's history, support sets with both Lightscrew and Thunder Wave were the most common, and they just used rest for recovery. It wasn't until around 2018 when people realised how dominant and useful a rest hawk set could be. It took until 2021 for people to start using Reflect and Thunder Wave on rest hawk sets, though, and before that, Seismic Toss was the most common option. The support sets are still good, but they are far less common than you used to be. Dropping Rest Talk is a hard choice for most teams to make. Curse Hypno would start being used around 2019, the next year. Hypno's move pool is quite vast, but a lot of it isn't worth using. It does learn the elemental punches, but its special attack is too low to use them well. It can use moves like Hypnosis, Toxic, Zap Cannon, Barrier and Counter, but they are all inconsistent and hard to fit so keep expectations low when using them. While Hypno is a top tier Pokemon in GC on the Oast, it does have some flaws, with the main one being its passivity. Hypno is relatively easy to wall with Pokemon like Blastoise, Slowbro and Magneton. Set up Pokemon like Scyther, Granbull, Pinsir and Kabutops can take advantage of this, often using Hypno as setup opportunity. Its main attacking move, Psychic, only has 60 MPP, and on a bulky Pokemon like Hypno, that runs out faster than you would think. Its low physical defense also means it is very poor at switching into physical attackers like Granbull. Lastly, Hypno faces small competition with Lantern and Chansey. The former is similarly specially defensive, but is more offensively potent, and the latter has Heal Bell and one turn recovery.